Good morning, everyone. It's Lyle of Saskatchewan Shaver here, coming to you for another Saturday morning shave. It is November 9th. It's going to be a hugely busy day around here. We've got a few birthday parties, um, late night party also, and it's still snowing. Definitely winter's here. I'm okay with it. I'm not too sure about my life. Um, I like taking the kids skating, hockey, that kind of stuff. My girls, anyways, I should say, they love it. And tobogganing. So let's get this going for today's shave. I did a uh, poll in the Canadian What Shavers group on Facebook. And by far, the soap and splash set that one for today's shave. This Echoes of Rain. A collaboration set between Tallow and Steel of Winnipeg Canada for the soap. And Male Grooming out of Hanover, Ontario for the splash. I do believe Sean Mullen came up with the scent for both of it too and Brian uh, Tallow and Steel kind of agreed on which scent profile he liked. So this stuff oh, it's a great scent. Um, definitely, you know, I'd say a 6, maybe 7 out of 10 on the puck. It's very strong. It's fairly strong for my nose in my opinion. Right about where I like it the most. Excuse me. So I'm just going to tell you a little bit about the scent. Not a lot. I've made some notes here quickly before I get going. So like I said, there's a collaboration between Tallow Steel and Mayo Grooming. Um, it's a limited edition. Originally made for the Canadian Wet Shaver CW group on Facebook. But now if you guys want it, you can buy it on uh, Tallow and Steel's website. For the soap and top of the chain for the splash. So I'm not going to read the whole scent profile. There's a nice write-up on both websites if you want to read it. But basically it's a darkened scent that is inspired by the autumn air. Your base notes on this are tobacco and patchouli. Your middle notes are atlas cedarwood, bergamot, clary sage, juniper berry, and palmarosa. Hope I said that right. And your top notes are basil and cardamom. So these are all scents with 100% essential oils. Both products are 100% natural, uh, and uh, I believe Top or Tallow and Seal is 100% organic. Also, if you check out their website, this is the version three of his soap. Um, I'm very excited to try it. I've used it once before, so hopefully, I'll go through all this shave today. I've preloaded it a little bit. I'm going to be using my frugal shave, uh, 3D printed Star Wars lightsaber brush with the 24 millimeter synthetic blood knot. I have down here going, I'll see if I can lift it up without making too big a mess. My Windhorse Pottery Stonefield Shaving Scuttle. I'm basically just using it uh, to keep the lather warm. I'll be doing mainly a face, uh, face lather today. In my Old Spice Cup, I'm using a distilled water today to make the lather. And the star of the show for me I forgot to pull it out. That's just crazy. No, oh, wait, and butcher. 7 8 celebrated. Full hollow barber's notch. 100% original. Told you to get this bad boy out on a uh, video for you guys. So hopefully, you don't screw it up. I have basically exactly 48 hours growth. So, we'll see how this goes. I'm just gonna put this soap and splash back here. I do have a new camera I'm using now. I'm trying the front camera this time, so if you see how it goes, I replaced my uh, Samsung older one here with a Google Pixel 3. So I hope it all works. I think I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna do this, get the lather going, and then we'll come back. Try to shorten this video down for you guys for a bit because I'm definitely not a fast uh, straight razor shaver. Stay tuned. Back. Figure I just get it painted on. And you can see there's a lot of moisture in there. It looks good. So let's get this lather going. The, uh, this is actually my first time with this version 3 of this soap. It's my first, I should say, not my first time with this soap, but my first time with first soap with this base from him. Seems to have absolutely no issues. Taking water at all. 
I also get some cannonballs flying around there, but that's okay. It's pretty normal for every shade for me, isn't it? Something's gonna go flying. Turn on another light here. It's a little dark in here, actually. There, helps a bit. This is a really good scent. Unfortunately, my sniffer's not perfect right now. Like, there's a cold in my house here. So I'm a little stuffed. But... It's strong enough that I can still pick it up. It smells great. Mm, it's actually a very relaxing scent. Because I like a, I think just what Sean and Ryan were going for, a early... Hmm. Fall morning scent. Sit, I think he talks about sitting on your deck or patio with a cup of coffee and a bowl of fruit and enjoying the scenery. And all the smells of fall and autumn. And, hmm. Yeah, this is awesome. You know, the coffee's not super strong. I love coffee. So, if somebody doesn't like coffee, I don't think they'd have a pro problem with this. Whoop. I may have more than enough lather here, but it's kind of enjoyable. Feels really good. So that scent is just very, very calming. And there's probably enough lather here on my face and neck for about eight passes, but that's okay. I'm gonna leave this a little thicker than I normally do. Still got a nice sheen as you can see. But I'm gonna try a little slightly <clears throat> different style of lathering or thickness, I should say. Normally I make it a lot thinner. So I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna clean some of this off my mouth and my uh, ears and maybe my chest. <laughs> We'll get this going. So I've not been disappointed by the soap yet using it. I've only used it with DE so far. So for the first time with this soap and the first time on video, it's gonna be paired with the Wade and Butcher. <laughs> so I may not talk too much during these passes here. I really want to concentrate uh, so I might forward through, fast forward through some of these on editing. We'll see how it goes. But let's get this going. I am going to be honest. Camera angle is not my primary focus here. Hopefully this new camera helps, but I'm primarily, primarily focusing on getting a good shave with this thing.
here doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> the soap a little drier than what I want, but it's doing a great job of protecting my skin. How sharp this thing is. I'm I'm not feeling it at all. It's... I do have to say, I think I'm, you know, it's one pass in, but I think I'm getting my best straight shave ever on video here for you guys. Just gonna rinse some of this off here, get a little water on my face. Slickness, like DE. I'd have no problems going back over that again. I'm not gonna risk out this straight. Let's go to pass two here. That's still very strong. No, I still say it's at above medium scent, even not even lathered. Oh crap! As we use that, past two years is definitely still a six, at least. Might be higher, like I said, my nose is plugged partially. Oh. You cross the green. Do hope this new camera is helping. We'll see how it goes on review before I post it, but it's looking pretty good. Pressure on across the grain here might be a little heavy, but still improving.
Mm. And the backup. We'll see. Last time I shared this, I got a few weepers right in here, so we'll see if they come back, back open. I was cross the green on my face. I do not try cross the green on my neck, so I do two with the grain passes. I know there's some guys that are probably going to give me heck for rinsing the blade underneath water. I just make sure I really dry it out very well. many things on the counter here. I'm trying to find a safe place to put that down. Wow. Oh, there's still a great oh, amount of scent on my face from that soap. I still smell it. It's good, good residual slickness here. Get past three going. This kettle's doing its job. The uh, lather. Still got it's still kind of warm. It's nice. Especially considering I didn't uh, make the lather in the kettle, I'm just basically using it as a brush kettle, and it's quite large for that application. But I'm gonna rinse some of this off my hands before I pick that straight back up. It's a lot of slickness is transferred to my hands here. In fact, I'm gonna grab my uh, owl block here. Sorry, it's the back of the counter hiding. I'm just gonna put a little on my hands. Okay, so against the green. Being a dumbass. Slight, slight slice there. I knew better. That's okay. That's okay. Did I see it?
I need a couple touch-ups, I think, but so far pretty happy. Water here, rinsing this off, feel around, see what it feels. I have BBS, 100% right there. I think the lip feels good. That's pretty close too, that's a really trouble spot of mine, so uh, a little bit there, another trouble spot. A little bit there too, just basically the trouble spots. A little hurt there. I mean, that's right neck, that's why I expect that, but other than that. There might be some slight irritation. I think I got my pressure a little too high this shave. But, do a little cleanup right here. Maybe a little there. Not much, but yeah, pretty nice. Clean up spot by spot here. Take my time. I was so close, I might not need to done that. I got one there too. And there. Ha! Yeah, I want to leave that. It's a little rough still right there. But I can always see some redness because I'm going over it too many times. So, the sharpness of this blade, I don't want to cause too many problems, too much irritation. I really don't want any irritation, but. Being honest, right now, still learning straights. Join the hell out of them, but every time I use one, I do expect a little bit of irritation. And this thing's so freaking sharp. So freaking sharp. asking for trouble there. I think my daughter's coming down to see me. I have to pause this. thinking that could have been bad. Just a notch, nostril clean up. Here we go. Oh, 
We'll see. I might start bleeding. We are going to call that done. Just give me a minute here. I'm going to go uh, do a quick cleanup and we'll come back for the back. So I did a warm water rinse, cool water rinse. I ended up dead nicking myself there when I was cleaning like I figured I would. So I did put a little bit of alum in there. Other than that, damn, this is close. This is damn close. So I am going to add something else here to my potion that I typically wouldn't do. I just want to give my skin the best chance here, especially after that streak. Man, is it sharp. And like I said, I'm not the best yet. I'm at a little Barbado also. Um, just for the cuts and nicks. Plus, it's got a little alcohol in it, so I want to see all the stings. Wow. And you know what? A little bit there, and a little bit around my chin where I cut it. Other than that, no sting. That surprises me. I'll be honest. I was expecting sting this shave. So let's get the good stuff going. Not that's bad stuff. Look, it's that close. You know, I'm going to actually say, except for maybe right there, maybe a hair there. This is BBS. This is smooth. That right there is a little bit. Other than that, it's insane. So, give this a good shake up. We're going to use the Match and Splash. Now, the male grooming echoes of rain. Sean says to use oh, three drops. I always use a little bit extra. Software is cheap, in my opinion. I don't enjoy it. Oh god, that smells good. Yep, that smells damn good. I'm really loving that scent. Loving the splash, loving that soap, loving that razor, and just loving this shave. There's a lot of love in here I'm talking about. <laughs> so, let's do a quick review for you guys. Oop, soap. The Tallow and Steel, uh, CWS Canadian Wet Shavers, limited edition, Echoes of Rain soap in the version 3 base. Good shit, man. Good stuff. The brush. I haven't cleaned it off. Yeah, I'll give a quick rinse. I'm really horrible for this. I'm sorry. The Frugal Shave. 3D printed Star Wars uh, lightsaber handle with the 24mm blood knot. Very good synthetic. Quite enjoy that. My only complaint with this thing, you can see the bottom's rounded so it doesn't stand up by itself. You need to hang it from the stand or lean it in a bowl. So, the bowl today, actually, like I mentioned, Wind Horse Pottery. Um, back up here a bit for you guys. There you go. Wind Horse Pottery uh, Stonefield Shaving Scuttle, handmade in Winnipeg. The two splashes, like I said, I did throw this in the last minute. Wanted to test it out. Barbado. Good stuff. The nail grooming aftershave splash. 100% natural, just like the soap. 
just essential oils and just a killer scent and killer, killer skin feel. And it's Maiden Voyage on a Video. 1870-ish, Wade and Butcher, Celebrated, 7 eighths, Full Hollow, Barber Notch, Hair Slayer. This thing's a beast. I love it. Thank you so much again, Jason Underwood. I just, I may face your bait, uh, <laughs> face your bait all day. This is just awesome. Friggin' awesome. So, thank you all for watching. If you haven't subscribed and you'd like to, please do. You know, I do appreciate it. I do this for myself, but hopefully other people enjoy it and your subscriptions show me that you do. If you like this video, please hit the thumbs up down below. Uh, if you want to leave comments, tell me what you think of the video, what you like, what you don't like. If there's anything you'd like to see, any inf more information on some of the products I've used, I'll do my best to always respond. Other than that, man, everyone, have a wonderful day. Happy shaving to all of you. And we'll see you in a few days for another video. Cheers. Before I do completely go, I stopped this video, but I wanted to come back and just mention that on the Canadian Wet Shavers uh, Facebook page, there is a raffle going right now. Um, this is in support of the Canadian Association of Suicide Prevention. Mr. Brian Bird, stellar gentleman, is putting this all together. Uh, lots of vendors and individual um, members have donated amazing prizes. Uh, spots are only $20 a spot. There's 115 spots. There's 52 left. I have to go buy mine here myself right away. But I think this is effective a lot. It affects more people than people realize. We all know somebody's had mental problems, uh, maybe contemplated suicide. Hopefully, unfortunately, I think too many of us have known people that have committed suicide or have tried. So if you haven't got into this raffle, please go buy a spot. It's a great, great uh, cause. There's a big write-up on there from Brian about everything. And 100% of all proceeds get donated. So if you have 20 bucks, it's well worth your time. Hope you can do it. Happy shaving.